Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, Dusty here. Uh, today we are in Streamlabs OBS and I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your first overlay or how to edit your overlay to make your stream look good, more professional, make it look even better. Uh, and so with that being said, I better minimize the screen recorder here just to get that and that will bother me the rest of the video. Uh, and as, so as you can see here on the video, I have my webcam border. I have my subscriber notifications above there. I also have a be right back screen. I also have a stream ending soon screen. Now, with that being said, all of this can be done within Streamlabs OBS. If you're looking for a full fledged tutorial on how to utilize Streamlabs, please check the link in the description. I'll annotate that uh, in the video cards as well. So the first thing I want you to do is go over to where you see themes. It's going to be the middle option there. It's got a little pencil icon with a ruler there kind of crossing it out. Uh, the beauty of Streamlabs is that as opposed to going into Photoshop or buying some from other people, uh, you know, and then dragging them into OBS or Streamlabs OBS, uh, the Streamlabs version actually gives you a, a store where all of this stuff, the majority of it is absolutely free. Whereas you can see here as I'm scrolling through, you can pick uh, by game, by genre of game. You can pick by color theme. Uh, if you're doing a, um, a massively multi player MMO, you can click that option here. It's going to show you the different ones here. If you're doing a first person shooter, you can do this here. Uh, if you're doing just an IRL or, or a generic or a variety stream, you're going to have all of the generic and variety stuff here. Now, let's just say for the purposes of this actual tutorial, let's do something fairly simple. And so let's go with just a generic stream, uh, I guess you would say border here. So let's find one that we like. This is the one that I'm currently using here uh, let's go with let's do one that you guys can kind of see the the, the top and the, and the bottom here let's go with this guy here the yellow option here as you can see it's going to show you the different elements of this actual theme here it's going to show you the webcam border it's going to show you the different stream starting soon be right back screens as well and then you can actually add different widgets and we'll talk about those here shortly now what do you do if you want to go and install this for your stream, all you got to do is go to install overlay. So as you can see here, click install overlay. It's going to be the green button here. Now, remember, you must be using the Streamlabs version of OBS in order for this to work. Now, as soon as you do that, it's going to direct you right back to the editor where, where you're going to be setting up your stream. Now, as you can see here, it starts with the stream starting soon. If we go to the live stream option, which is this here, we're going to see that the webcam border has already been put in place. Now, if you have to edit the actual size of an element, it's fairly intuitive to where you just click on the element you want to resize, and then you click and hold and you drag this like you normally would any element in any editor that you would be utilizing. It's very much WYSIWYG uh, to where you can just drag and drop things wherever you want them on your stream. Uh, and with every update, they're iterating on this and making this even more uh, intuitive and easier to use. So you can choose that, select that, resize that, put it around your webcam. Let's say you want to, like I said, readjust your webcam. You can do so by double clicking and then readjusting the size of the webcam to fit the border or vice versa. Uh, so as you can see there, I'm going to go ahead and go back and fix the, the sizing there to make it look a little better. Now in the upper center of the screen, you're going to see the alert box option here. This is where you're going to set up where you see when people follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, uh, all of that, it, it makes the stream look a little more, uh, a, a little cleaner. It makes it look more professional. And so with that being said, you can see here, once I select it down in the sources box, it's going to see here something that says alert box. Now that's the, the title of the actual element that we're dealing with. And so what you want to do is first and foremost, you want to delete the background. It says background delete me. That's just to give you a viewpoint of what it's going to look like when there's an actual game in the background. In order to delete something within a source, you just select it, right click on it there, and then you can just go up to where you see uh, remove, just like that, and then hit OK. And then as you can see, it's now going to remove the actual background. So uh, that's something that you can do, obviously, very simply. Now, now that we've got a better look at kind of how we want 
you know, our stuff to look here in the alert box where it says header, hit the little arrow there and it's going to show you a few different, few different options. It's going to say something here, uh, all of the different titles like new donation, uh, new donation text, uh, new follower, new follower, and then your header, obviously that's going to be, you don't want to move that. Uh, so if we go here and double click on this here, we're going to see that this is giving us the, 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 the name of the actual font that we're using. Uh, and then again, the best way that I recommend people to do is to leave everything the same unless you just really want to start tinkering with say the different fonts and the different texts and things like that but if you double click on a specific element uh, then you can go in here and you can choose like a specific font like one of the fonts that I like to use on almost everything uh, is called Babus New I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of that font before and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong and they don't even have it here but that's okay uh, but as you can see we can go here and we can choose the different types of you know text that we want to use so if we want to use this text here we can select that and then hit done and as you can see i can click and hold and drag this around wherever i want you know to drag something around now if i go here and let's just say i open up a game so let's open up say hearthstone to kind of show you what it's going to look like now, let me open up hearthstone here and we'll need to add a source so uh, this is just like setting up a, a scene normally, but now you're going to have this really cool overlay with all of the different information that Streamlabs allows you to, to utilize. And so what we're going to want to do is add a source by clicking the addition symbol here. And then what we want to do is we want to do a display capture or a game capture, however you're doing it. Again, you can watch the full video tutorial on this uh, link down below. So we're going to go ahead and, and do this here. We're going to add the, 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 this actual monitor here, and then we'll go ahead and drag that down to the bottom so everything is on top and as you can see I now have the nice webcam border I now have the notifications up above me and then I have my game in the actual background of the scene and this is what we want is starting to come around it's starting to look like we want it to look now once you have everything the way that you want it okay once you've uh, you know looked at the header here and everything is kind of the way that you want it now underneath new donation in order to get this to work you're gonna have to go in to uh, Streamlabs and set up like a donation alert and all of that can be done in the video that I've shown you before. You can, uh, the, the label type here is just going to be showing uh, the top donator or the most recent follower. So like if we go here and we double click here on new follower, we're gonna see like the most recent subscriber or most recent follower. That's kind of how Streamlabs sets that up. And they've got a script that runs that should, you know, once you link your account, whether it be on Twitch or YouTube, it should be fine and it should set that up automatically. If it doesn't, you'll definitely want to test that just to make sure in case something is wonky and you need to fix it, any, anything like that. So let's go to the Be Right Now page. As you can see, we can we can switch right between these. And these work very similar to the actual page there. If we select the different sources, we can go and resize that if, if the, the sizing is off. Or we can even add elements to that if that's something that you want to do. So that's the basis of setting up a, an overlay or a theme within Streamlabs. Now, if we go here and we go to Themes, back to where we were at to take a look at all of the uh, different overlays here, we have something here that's called widget themes. Now, these widget themes are not actual full overlays. What they are are different things that you can add to your stream um, that can, again, add a little bit of flair or a little bit of excitement to your stream. So as we see here, most of these are going to be alert boxes. Uh, there's 14 pages of these. Um, and so let's just choose, let's say, this guy right here. So as you can see here, it's going to show you over here on this side. It's going to show you whenever someone follows you it's going to sh it's going to show up and it's going to have like this really cool animation as someone follows now the same way as if you're installing a th uh, you know a, a full overlay if we go up here to the upper right hand corner when you're on the actual widget it just works the same way. You'll select the widget, hit the drop down menu, go to right here and then go to select all. Make sure you're getting all of the widgets and then click the green install button. And then now what you're going to want to do uh, is you're going to see this alert box right here. And then if we go back to our live scene and we want to actually test that widget, there's a button in the lower right hand corner here that says test widgets. Click that there. It's going to say which one do you want to test? Let's do a subscriber. 
boom, it's going to you know have the audio you have set up, and it's going to give you exactly what it's going to look like on your stream. Now, you can adjust the, the actual where you want that by going and selecting the alert box. You can make it bigger. You can drag it above you. So maybe in this case, what I would do is I would put it kind of above my webcam here. I would test out the subscriber, kind of drag it around. So maybe you want to make it even bigger than that. So maybe put it a little bit above your webcam there. Now I have it exactly like I want. Now if someone goes and they give me a super chat, as you can see, all of that will be done above me here with the alert. So that's how you deal with the different overlays as well as the widgets. Now, if you have any further questions, first, what I would do is go watch my full video on Streamlabs OBS, how to set it up, how to get everything done. And then secondly, put those questions and comments in the description of this video, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys, as always, for watching my videos, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.